Okay, the next thing I want you to notice on here is down here, kind of in the middle towards the bottom, is a wire hinge nail jig. You're going to want to cut that out and attach that to a block of wood like this. So I, I attached it, and then you're going to take... Um, these look like they got about a 16th inch shaft on them of, of, of a nail, pound them into the wood, cut off the tops so that they're just posts. And that is our wire bending jig. And I will show you how to do that. Can you get really close on this one, Robbie? Because this is going to be harder to see. And if you want to come up here and, and gather around, just don't block the view of this camera right here. All right. So, okay, you can come in closer, George. <laughs> All right, so here we have um, music wire. And this is the smallest diameter they make, and I think it's like 0 0.015 inches. That's what I was able to find. Yeah, and it's very, very, very small. Okay, and for this we need exactly four inches. So on my board here, one, two, three, four, I got four inches. And I'm just going to cut it. Okay, that's all we need is just that little piece. Okay, so now I want to take this and I want to bend it in half. See, I'm lining up my ends. Now, now music wire is very stiff and it's hard to bend. But if you do it like that, and then just kind of pinch down here on the bottom. Okay, just like that. See that, Samuel? Okay, and then I'm going to take it and lay it in my jig like that. There's two nails that are close together, two that are far. And I'm going to take both of them at the same time, and I want to bend them back. And this is where it starts getting a little, little tricky. Okay, I got them bent back. Now I'm going to take one of them. The reason for bending them both back at the same time is now I'm going to take one of them and because the other one's bent back, it kind of holds it in place. It can't move. And I'm going to take it and you'll, you'll see, you'll feel it's pretty, there's some resistance there. And you can see that these lines here on the pattern, and I've been using this one for so long that my lines are kind of moving away. They're kind of, you know, I've been rubbing them off. And I want to get it pretty close to that. This is at a 45 degree angle. So when I got one done, I'll take the other one, bend it around. The second one's a little harder because just getting it through the post is a little harder. All right. So once around. Just once around, that's all it takes. Okay, now, if you look here on the pattern, my mine is kind of rubbed away, but there's little, little posts that stick out. So what I'm going to do, just take a pair of needle nose pliers, grab it right next to it on the outside, and then just twist and bend. Same thing on this side. Just grab it twist and bend. And you want to make that like a 90 degree bend. Okay, now I'm going to pull it off of the jig. And if you notice this, if the way it lays on the table, it's kind of like at a little angle. That's perfect. That gives us our dihedral in the wing. It just automatically happens by magic. I don't know why it does, but it just does. Now, the next thing I want to do is these little ends. I only need them to be the length of our, of our spar, like that. So basically, I only, only need them. This is 3 seconds inch basswood. I'm just going to cut them. And just be careful cutting them, because this is when you cut those little pieces, they, they, they can bounce around and they can get you back in the eye. So if you have safety goggles, please wear them. Okay, so now I've, I've cut them on the ends. Now on the, this end here, 
And again, I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and I want to use just the very, very tip. I want to make this bend as small as possible, but I want to square it off. Because I want it, I want it to go around the wood like that. You all see that? So my hinge is done. I'm going to pass that around. You can take a look at it. And I've, I've bent up some just in case, you know, people didn't want See how fast that was? That was just like, that's the hardest part of the whole building the glider. And I made, uh, I made 10 of them. And uh, it took me about a half hour. Does the, uh, does this part that sticks out, does it embed into yes. the wood? Yes. Okay. And I will show you that. You're going to need a little bit, uh, a little tiny drill bit.